Look at me and look at you. How y'all doing? Hello. This is wonderful. Do we have any old, uh, I don't mean to say old, because <laughs> we got a lot of old folks out here. We got any old Apex people out here? Woo! <laughs> oh, man. You know, we take a little bit of credit for getting that hand dance thing going again. Because when Vernon Robinson and I was up there, we started that Wednesday night thing. You all remember that? And boy, I tell you, we've been dancing ever since, have we not? Well, I want to welcome you all formally and personally for being out here tonight and supporting this event. Can you imagine 29 years? That's on the very first one we gave when the line was around. This is a place that you need to come out and support the entertainment that's taking place here because there's not another town that has a venue where you can sit down, experience a show, have something good to eat, have some good drinks, and enjoy yourself with your family because that's what we've got going on here. Well, let's get the show on the gay day in Washington, D.C. and call upon all the residents of this great city. Y'all know how y'all know how D.C. folks don't even know how to put a sneak. <laughs> so we decided that he should be honored. Having said that, after 29 years, white folks in the house. Woo! The, Legendary Musicians Community Service Award, and this is our first award, Celine, is presented to Celine Hilton at the Marvin Gaye Day celebration. And so we honor you, Mr. Hilton. We praise you and we thank you for all of your hard work. Almighty. Who would have thought 29 years ago I would be up here doing this? So thank you, Dr. Truesdale and the legendary musicians, Ida Campbell. Thank you so much. Calvin, thank you so much. I would like to get Antoine Gay to the stage. Calvin Gay's younger brother, Antoine, is in the house. Antoine, would you come on? We're just moving a little bit behind. But I told Gay that I wanted the family to have this year's proclamation. And she told me that Antoine was going to be here, and also Ron Daring told me that Antoine was going to be here. And I would like for Antoine to come down and let me present this proclamation with him. Is that okay? Just for a couple of minutes. So that the family... <laughs> I, I told him with a mouthful of food. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Antoine... You know, first of all, I just want to say how honored I am to be in your presence, man, because I've heard a lot about you, and I also have became aware that you have that spiritual nature that your brother had, that you all were here. Did you all ever hear anything? He wanted to sing that King Cole. He wanted to sing the, the supper club music, that laid back music. But the end of this said, hey man, ain't no money in that. You're going to say Hitchhike and Building Town a Fellow. And so it's all good, family, and say that on this day, which is the 3rd of April, 2013, we have given you the proclamation from the mayor of the District of Columbia in honor of your brother and in the spirit of your family. May God continue to bless you. And I understand that he's somewhat articulate, so I'm going to give him the mic. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Um, I first want to thank Mrs. Mr. Hilton, and, and please remember the beauty of Marvin. Remember the mercy, mercy, me, the what's going on, the inner city blues, the love that he talked about, and that's what we need for the city. God bless you, and I thank you. Amen. Woo! Right on. Thank you again. And Emmy, oh, 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 o